You hear about Elvis the Alien's Kickstarter for a Bloodborne graphic novel. No, that sounds really cool though. Brotherhood of the Wolf. Oh, wait, no. Is it the Old Blood? A Bloodborne prequel graphic novel? This? Cool project idea. I love Bloodborne, so anything more from Bloodborne is cool. So as a guy who actually does comics, does he actually need 100k for this? Elvis the Alien? Oh, yeah. If he's going to self-publish, fulfill, produce... Oh, yeah, absolutely. Hire the team? No doubt. Yeah, he'll need every goddamn dollar of that. How did you not know about the lore? Have you not played Bloodborne? The story isn't told through cutscenes. The story is told through exploration and diving into item descriptions as well as just actually putting it together in-universe. It's not like it's spoon-fed for you. It's very easy to miss the lore in Bloodborne. Isn't there going to be IP issues with trying to sell that? That I couldn't tell you. It seems like there would be, considering he's calling it a Bloodborne prequel. I imagine there'd be some kind of legal potential there, but... I am not an expert on that. Thanks for your sub. Search Dallas Skull Hungry Everlasting TJC Crazy Relic Joe Amaroka and the Prime Gothi and Roy in the resub barge. Have you seen Wade's response to KSI? No. They commissioned him to write it. It's official lore. Oh, is it really? Well, then that's how they probably get around that. Things they resub Fosta and Chaos. And the Prime Holy. Why is he asking for money then? They probably just give him the blessing. So they're probably not actually paying him to do it. They probably just gave him rights to the IP in order to make it. So they basically just did a licensing deal with him. That doesn't include production cost, would be my guess. Assuming that that chatter's telling the truth, but a lot of people said that, yeah, that's that's the case. So I'll take him at his word. He's a tier one twitchy. The Kickstarter FAQ literally says they have no legal permission. Okay, Jesus Christ, I'm just gonna look at look at it myself then. Where's the FAQs at? Like a cosplay thing. Exit five gives subs twitchy in the prime will. Nice. Ooh, brother. This printing cost plus rewards is gonna be a lot larger chunk of this pie. Artist labor is obviously very expensive, assuming you're paying your artist well, but printing costs and rewards, that's <laughs> that's a lot. Unless he already has some kind of like bulk deal with a like a fulfillment center or something already figured out. Is this the FAQ for the project or the actual site? Oh, here we go. Is this project licensed by Sony or from software? The simple answer is no. This is a fan made graphic novel. Think of this Kickstarter project like one massive commission to get something made, and beyond that, it will not be sold. Every cent gain from this Kickstarter will go towards getting this thing made and sent out, which is why the goal is quite high. We want to make it as good as we can. Yeah, I don't know. That might get a little dicey legally if FromSoft decides to do something about it. I don't know why they would, though. What happens if there's legal trouble after it's funded? If, for whatever reason, Sony or FromSoft want to shut this project down, we will fight our case. In the worst case scenario, all backers will be fully refunded. For the book portion of their pled, reward payment will still be taken out if you'd still like them. The project will be cancelled. This is a little concerning. This isn't exactly like a winnable case, considering they're calling it a prequel to Bloodborne. That's going to be a really hard thing to argue, because that's immediately going to be confused by consumers as being like official Bloodborne. 
you'd need the blessing for that. That, that. that might be a little hard to argue. At least I would think. Again, I'm not an expert. But refunding the backers is also going to be really tough in the worst case scenario because a lot of their money is going to be spent on production. So assuming they shut this down like somewhere in the middle, they've already spent that money, meaning the refunds are going to have to come out of pocket. So that might get real dicey if that happens. So hopefully that won't be the case. There's already an official Bloodborne comic, so they might take these guys down, but I doubt it. I didn't even know there was an official comic. That's going to make it even more difficult for Elvis the Alien and his team to be <laughs> safe here. Because now you have the exact same thing in an official capacity in the same medium this fan-made one's going into. And it's called The Old Blood, a Bloodborne prequel graphic novel. That could easily be confused for the official one, even though it's not. So, that, I don't know, it might be a little scary. Hopefully not, though. <clears throat> Possible, Chris. Yeah, of course. The Gentlemen are working on more music. We'll have another album coming out sometime this year. Oh, thanks for the Raid Gunner. Hope you had a good stream. Welcome. Yeah, we're about to play some Resident Evil 4 once this unlocks. We got 15 minutes. Easy tier one chunky. Any thoughts on going to Comic Con? I don't go to conventions, but I'm pretty sure we're going to have a God Slap booth there, if I had to guess. But yeah, no, I don't I don't really go to conventions. Yeah, I was just watching Simo's video on Tyler the Great Warrior card. I didn't finish it though. I will later. I won't be bidding on the Yu-Gi-Oh card, though. Hey, Nesh. How come not bidding? That just seems like a super personal card. One that I really wouldn't feel comfortable owning. Like, it'd be part of my collection just because of its rarity. And that's, I don't know. That just seems like a very sentimental, personal thing that it's just not something I would personally feel comfortable having. I'm very surprised it's going to auction to begin with. I, I Again, I haven't finished Simo's video on it, so I don't know the reasoning behind it. But I am very surprised to see it go to auction. He's planning on taking the funds from the card to start up a business. That's cool. I, I hope it goes well for him. I anticipate the card going in the realm of like 20 to 50k. I don't think it'll break six figures just because the whole collectible card market isn't as wild as it was two years ago but who knows i could be wrong I, i'm just anticipating it'll be somewhere in that 20 to 50k ballpark 